When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us to do things, they were for a reason. After Salatul Isha, if you do not have anything constructive to do, go to bed. Early to bed, early to rise. Those sayings we've heard. Islam has taught them to us way back in a way that if you were to do it with the correct intention, you earn a reward. You earn a reward. So the Prophet ﷺ not only taught that to us, he actually practiced upon it. After Salatul Isha, he used to love to recline quite early. And then he would get up early as well. Subhanallah. Look at it. Why recline? Many reasons. If you don't have anything constructive to do, recline. Look, I want to tell you, many of you are married here, mashallah. For those who are not married, let's hear a loud ameen. May Allah bless you with the best of spouses. Mashallah. That means quite a few of you are not married as well. But those of us who are married, subhanallah, imagine your spouse coming into bed for a change after Salatul Isha. Allahu Akbar. I think you have to have a walima the next day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. But what happens? We sit doing nothing. I've, I've had a meal now. I've, salah is over. I'm sitting with my friends with the, with the shisha. You know what's a shisha? People say that's not smoking, so it can't be haram. It's worse. May Allah forgive us. No excuse doesn't mean in some countries they've now legalized the weed so suddenly weed becomes halal no it doesn't the ruling remains the same maybe medicinally yes there is a lot of benefit perhaps under certain conditions if the experts were to give you that advice that's a topic on its own but we're talking of social weed they say ah oh, weed is allowed is it allowed okay right let's start weeding no no may Allah forgive us but remember my beloved brothers and sisters when the prophet sallallahu was intimate with his spouse it was an ibadah he told us fi budu'i ahadikum sadaqa it's wrong to speak about the night of the prophet sallallahu without learning a lesson many people complain i've been married and you know we haven't been intimate for a month wallahi someone told me 8 years i haven't been intimate Akbar, are you sure it's not eight days you're married for what where is the man going what is he doing may Allah forgive us why do you hold someone if you don't want to be intimate with them do it for the sake of Allah for your own sake subhanallah Allah's kept pleasure in it such that we are engaging in an act of worship and people won't even consider it an act of worship so the sahaba radiallahu anhum were surprised they said ya rasulallah you, you know, you're just saying means to fulfill your sexual desires with your spouse is a charity. It's an act of worship. Is that it? He says, yes, it is. Do you see if you were to fulfill that desire in haram, would it be sinful? So the Sahaba said, yes, it would be definitely sinful. Well, then if you do it in halal, it is an act of worship. It is a sadaqa. Subhanallah. So get used to it, my beloved brothers, my, those who are married. Remember that your spouses have needs and even the sisters Your spouses have needs and try to build that relationship such that it's not forced rather It's something good. It's something mutual It's supposed to be enjoyed by both and it's something we speak about because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has addressed it We are not ashamed of addressing that which he has addressed and it's a it's a problem in society and community I only wonder how the brothers translating it in sign language. <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> May Allah bless us all. May Allah grant us goodness and ease. So my beloved brothers and sisters, this is a passionate call to say, you know, when we talk of the ibadah of the Prophet ﷺ, we need to remember not only did he engage in it, but he instructed it. So if you're married and you're not intimate with your spouse, you shall be questioned by Allah. You will be caught on the day of judgment. That yawmil akhir we are talking about. Be warned about it. It's just a matter of time before the haq and the truth catches up with you. We don't want that to happen. Learn to have a beautiful relationship. When you have nothing constructive to do after Salatul Isha, the best thing you could do is go and recline. Your spouse has a right. Your body has a right to the sleep 
subhanallah. And you know, nowadays medicine is telling you that if you were to sleep early, you would achieve X, Y, and Z. We've been told a long time back, go to sleep early. Maybe the explanations were not made, but Allah speaks to us. Regarding his rules and regulations, We will show them our signs in the horizons and within themselves and within themselves until they are convinced that the Quran is the truth. That the instruction of Allah is the truth. That the deen, the religion is the truth. The instructions are beautiful. Nowadays people say, you know what? This rule that Allah has set. Let's take the same one we're talking about, sleeping early. They say, but from a medicinal perspective, from a medical perspective. Medical perspective, it's very healthy to sleep early. Oh, then I'm going to sleep early. But when we told you the hadith, you were not bothered. You see? So what happened? Allah just proved to you through medicine that it's healthier. How many of us are ready to do this? You know, I feel like I'm speaking, but I need help myself. Do you know why? Because wallahi, this phone is a problem. Sometimes we're at home, wallahi, we're in bed. And we are more distant than we would be had we not been in that bed from our spouses. Because we're busy and we're laughing and we're joking and the spouse looks at you, turns around and then turns the other way and then puts the pillow this way and then hugs the pillow. All those are signs to say, hey, you're supposed to be hugging me here, not the pillow. Subhanallah. It's a reality. But what happens then when the spouse is snoring and suddenly we realize, hey, it's getting late. I'm close. We drop the phone so many times. So many, then we put it aside and go to bed. By that time, people are upset and angry and so on. My brothers, that needs to stop. 